Um, yeah, we're cheat, on cheat. segment 64, Sculpting with Crumbs. Oh, I've seen some of this stuff. Absolutely. It's the one and only Derek Wong. And it says we've got to follow Derek to create one of his signature deliverable designs using just Qualitex Chrome Balloons. He will also show you how to create a base that will add extra impact to your deliverable sculptures and centerpieces. So, um, please We're give a very treat. big, very warm Q Corner welcome to Mr. Derek Wong. Hello, Derek. Welcome to Q Corner. Hey. Um, oh, we could do you with a bit of sound on there as well. Hey. Why have we lost Solo on Call of Four, Dom? How there are you we guys? Go. We are fantastic. I think everyone heard you but us. That was the problem. <laughs> yeah, we uh, okay. had. We still had the girls chattering in our ear for some reason. Uh, we're great. Yeah. We're fantastic. And all the better for seeing you, Derek. How are you? Good. Good. Um, well, it's it past 12 a.m. midnight here, so I guess uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're um, as confused um, as we are. I literally had my pajama on just like five minutes ago. <laughs> Excellent. He did because we saw him in the side things as well. We weren't, we were trying not to look, but he was just right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. Uh, with I don't know, like, I'm not even sure if you, you two of you are there, like. Are you real? Like, are they, are you <laughs> no, no we, we've said this. We're actually androids. We're androids or Apple, whichever one you want to go with. It's a question that we haven't established yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're beyond whatever it was we were. So let's go that. Let's go with that. Okay. So um, yes. we have we, the saying, right? One more segment. That's yes, all we've got to do. We'll just get through one we more segment. We're very much looking forward to this one. Keep us awake for yeah, another couple of hours. So... so make sure you guys stay on. Yeah, well, we, you know that we are all about the chrome, about the chrome. So you guys can be all about the chrome too as um, we hand you over to the wonderful Derek Wong. Here we go. Okay. Okay. It looks a bit weird on my screen, but all right. Let me get away my... Okay, um, good morning everyone, um, I'm Derek, I'm from Canada, um, if you don't know me. Um, so first of all, I would like to thank uh, Qualitex to, um, by the way, this is my first time live, so it's a bit uh, artwork because uh, I'm talking to my camera here uh, with no one, so that's my first time teaching live. Um, so I would like to thank Qualitex um, to give me this opportunity and uh, have this wonderful convention. I don't know how Keith and Dom uh, did it, but he, they must have like multiple version or cone of them. Um, so um, so one's going to sleep and the other one's uh, going to eat and then the other the other pair were just sitting in front of the camera. But uh, it, regardless, uh, I want to give them my most appreciated um, thanks so to host this uh, com convention and also like anyone who worked behind like Eve, uh, Susan and uh, Sue Boyle, Ellie, like everyone and plus the most importantly um, I would like to thank everyone who joined us uh, and try to like get uh, get through these uh, difficult situations here so so um, today my um, Class is going to be sculpting with Chrome. Now, uh, some of you might already um, watch the other segment from segment 24, I believe that's from Nicole uh, Gray. Um, somehow, instantly, when I put in my, uh, my class there, I didn't realize that she's also teaching a Chrome class. And I didn't even know. I have no idea she is also teaching a Chrome mouse, which I'm going to teach, uh, but it's a different version. So um, if you were in Nico's class, um, she mentioned that, that um, she, show my, she saw my mouse or mini mouse 
uh, uh, that is for a sculpture, um, that's for the medium sculpture competition in Tristan Shaw back in 2000 and what year is it? 2019, last year. So, so um, I thought that is going to be a good way, a good chance for me to teach you guys uh, this design. Um, just a little bit of myself, uh, I'm, I live in Canada. Uh, my business is, uh, my business name is called Twisted Inflations. So you can follow me on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Um, I start as a twister um, back in 2011 um, as a hobbyist. I saw someone uh, do a balloon twisting in a birthday party and that's how I got the, and I was standing there watching and that's how I got hooked on to balloon. I saw, I saw what he can do, it's like, wow, that's pretty amazing. So, and um, then in two years after, in 2013, um, that's how I start my business. And uh, I also got my um, CBA on the same year. Um, so, I, right now, uh, my business is like, I'm one third of uh, interesting. I do like line works, birthday parties and events and stuff. And I also, I also do a lot of uh, decorations and uh, um, like events, decorations, and I also do deliverable. Uh, actually, deliverable is now one of my favorite thing to do because um, my deliverable is not just a bouquet or uh, a columns, but most of the time, um, my my client wants something big, like they want a big superhero sculpture for their birthday. Um, and they couldn't find anyone to make it, and I'm the one. I'm the one who who can do it for them. Um, so that is pretty much my niche. And uh, about one percent of the, my business or my time, um, I help Alex and Ellie to blow up balloons and tie balloons uh, when they need. Uh, when Alex need a few balloons to to blow up. Okay. So, but that's about. It. Um, just for, um, by the way, Alex and Ellie, they are about half hour from where I, from where I am. So, um, and I have no problem with my internet. So it's definitely uh, something to do with them. All right. So we do have internet in Canada. Okay. Cool. So, um, let me first show you, uh, instead of showing you a lot of designs because, uh, by segment 64, I'm sure there are, there are already a lot of these I have been shown to you. And um, so instead of showing you a lot of these, I'm going to show you like this one major one. Um, and it looks like this. If you haven't seen my, uh, um, my pictures on the website, and this is, uh, this is a replica of my uh, competition piece, my medium competition piece uh, from Trish and Shell. So, and I consider this a, a, a deliverable design. And it's all done with chrome. Alright? So before I go on to talk about, so I want to talk about, um, while I'm walk you through how to do it, I want to talk about how, like, the process, how I come up with the idea and what I use. Uh, why I'm doing this. So that's what the way I like to teach because I don't just want you to uh, memorize all the steps, but instead I want you to understand why I'm doing it. So the next time um, you you can either use your own way or you can reproduce it um, by not really memorizing every step because I, I'm a person with really bad memory. So um, one of the problems when I find like I'm not a big guy, I'm not big into balloon tutorial because I I don't have a good memory. I cannot memorize uh, steps and things like like things like that. By the way, I don't have my phone with me because it's really distracting. So I so if you have any question, um, if you can save it to the end because I'm not looking out. I'm not looking on the comments. Uh, at this point because uh, I got multiple screen and they have time delays and it really confused me. 
Okay? All right. So, uh, before I go on to talk about um, this sculpture, so uh, if you haven't checked the website, uh, I have the product list. So basically what you need is uh, Chrome Gold 350, and uh, those are the Chrome Heart here, and uh, you need a quick link to your Chrome Gold, okay? So make sure you go grab those. Okay, if you don't, uh, you should call your Polytex uh, reps and see if they have any. Uh, but actually, no, you don't. They, uh, but since I don't think anyone will, will have access to the private reserve, which doesn't exist yet, um, so we are back to uh, using the uh, Chrome 7 inch. Um, so, this entire mini mouse is done with um, a single color chrome uh, with the 7 inch RAM and 260. So, what is, what, whatever is, out with, uh, is available. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the, do, do the mini mouse first, and then, uh, and then we are, I'm going to show you how to do the base. Okay, and this base you can use it for not just this sculpture, you can use it for many other sculptures. Now, if we still have time, then I have one more um, mini sculpture to show, which, we, which also is in Chrome, is uh, this tiny bear here. Now, again, this is all made out of Chrome RAM, and I will talk about it, like, if we have time, I will talk about it, how I come up with this design, because uh, as a twister, uh, we don't always get what we want um, to create. So, especially in this situation, we only have 260 and the runs for the chromes. So, uh, we have to, so I have to come up with a way I can um, manipulate the balloon in, into the way that it looks like what it is, okay? So, let's, uh, without further ado, let me start with this sculpture, okay? Now, the product we need is a bunch of uh, chrome wand, uh, 7 inch. Uh, I count this one, is uh, we need 13 of those. You may need a bit more, depends on if you pop it. Um, but um, also, uh, when, I'm, when I'm creating a sculpture or a design, I mix a lot of uh, the core technique, not just fusion. Like most of people, or a lot of balloon artists now, they want to mix twisting technique into the core, but I like to mix it both because um, from what I will, uh, we don't. We are both. We are all balloon artists. Okay. We that's like because our client they don't care. Like if I can make a balloon dog, I can make a. I I I can build a balloon arch. Okay. Or if I can do a healing, do a bouquet of healing balloons, I can make a bouquet of flowers. Okay. Because I'm doing balloons. So the way I see it is, if I'm doing balloon, I can do anything with balloons. So. I mix a lot of uh, um, the twisting technique into my decor or the, the, my decor technique into the twisting. So just to come up with what I need. And um, so instead of, I, I could be called a deco twister or a twisted decorator, either way. All right. So let's start with the mini. Now, I, when I make my design, oh, this design I came up, uh, this design when I was preparing a class for Kevin the Conventions, one of the, uh, the conventions uh, with Entertainer. And uh, at that time, we did not even have the 7 inch. We only have the 11 inch and the, and the uh, 260. So I want to come up with something, well, I, I actually want to teach my base, but I want to come up with something to match my base. So, and, and we only have access to 
the 11 inch and the 260 and the 260 chrome. So uh, I have to come up a way to come up to build my sculpture with only those two sides. And now they have seven inch, even better. All right, sorry, I talk too much. Okay, so we, I always start with the head. Now, first, I'm going to use two seven inch go. And I use my hand pump because uh, I find that when manipulate the round balloons, it's easier to use the hand pump so I can, I can do the size by count how many pumps. Perfect decor technique. One, two, three. Three. Okay. Now don't, I'm not tying it. And get an other one. So I'm just hold on to it. Don't tie it yet. Do an other one. Three count. One, two, three. Now I'm going to tie this two balloon and make a do and make a uh, a do pass or make a pair. So when I'm tie it now, before you tie it, I'm tying it, but I'm tying it so it's close to the nozzle. So this way, now you can see the balloon is heavily under inflate, but I still got a lot of uh, neck to use because I tie it really close to the nozzle. So I'm tying a pair, okay? Now I'm going to squeeze these two balloons. Now, because when I create my head, I start with the top, so I always come up with the eyes and the cheek, like the big, big, like I want to um, do the face structure first. So I, I will have the eyes, hold it, close it. So I would want to create uh, my eyes looks like this and my cheek, okay? But my main point is trying to get the shape of my, of my eyes. Now the only way, and we don't, and 260 is not fake enough because it's, they're not fit enough. So the way that I create my eyes, my bigger eyes is to use the round. And in order to make the round long, that's how I make it. So I tie it right to the nozzle, close to the nozzle, and then squeeze the air. Now, my chrome seven inch become more like a long eggplant shape, okay? And this part of your balloons is the perfect 350 chrome right here. So I do a one twist, okay? So now I have my 350 chrome and then I have another round chrome here. And I repeat the same on this one. So I twist, I hold it. Okay, and I do the same. So on this side, I also twist the same size. So I want to match the first one. So, so I will have the two, like similar to 350, and then the round right here. And then I'm twisting this together. Right here so it's not a lot of twisting here okay and it's not it's not hard it's not difficult to do because this balloons these seven inch balloons you can bow it up really big so I'm heavily under inflate so we got a lot here so it's really soft and it can be manipulated much easier okay so if you look at if you compare this with uh, my mini here that is the eyes so this is the eyes, and now this is the bonus, it becomes the cheat, which is the bonus, okay? Now for demonstration purpose, I'm going to use a different color of balloon to build the rest, okay? So it's easier for you to see. So I'm going to put this aside.
Now I'm going to grab another seven inch round. Like most of this, uh, most of this sculpture is built with round balloons. So, so don't be surprised that I use a lot of uh, rounds here. So uh, another seven inch again, three pumps. One, two, three. And this time we don't have to tie it too close. Just normal. Just normal, just a normal distance, just like you tie your balloon normally. Okay, so it's still heavily under inflate, but you still got a little bit of uh, neck, you can move the air. Okay. I'm going to again squeeze this. Okay. Now, this is the front of the face of Mini. I need to create the back. So, for two purposes, because it looks better from different angle. Plus, I need this scope, this head to be structural, uh, more stable. Okay, so I need to put something to support the whole, the whole structure here. So I use another seven inch. Now the, this one, if you look at the back of the sculpture, it's silver. It's actually going to be this balloon right here. Okay. So the way I'm doing it is now again I push the air. Now I'm going to do a I'm going to twist a bubble about one inch big. Okay. One inch in size. Okay just right on the tip. So the nozzle is here, the end of the balloons or the other side, like the tip of the, um, of the round balloons. Now I'm going to, I'm going to push this through the, uh, through the gap here. Okay. So, if you can see, so this is the uh, the balloons, and I'm going, I'm pushing this balloons through the gap. Now it locks at the top, okay, and I'm just twisting it a few times, okay. Now I'm creating an attachment point on the top right here, uh, on Mini's forehead. Well, I'm using my face as reference, okay? And this whole balloons, this whole balloons, the silver balloons. Now, ideally you want to use gold as the same, same color because I find that by making it this, like the entire sculpture with the same shape of a chrome, it looks much elegant. It's like a solid gold minimus. But again, so for this one, for I'm going to just hold the nozzle and the nozzle will all tie to the center of the face. Now this is this is pretty the main point of your face. So you will see pretty much every thing will connect to the sand to to this to the to the center right here. So I'm connecting I'm tying this knot and push it in. Like that. So it will look like about it will look about like this. Now it doesn't matter, it don't mind that is this one is sticking out because we are going to cover it up anyway. Alright? So this is the front, this is the back, this is the side. All right. Now I'm, I create a second connection point on the head. Okay. Now then we are going to make the nose or the muscle here. So I'm going to put this aside. Um, this time I'm going to use Again, a seven inch 
wrong. Uh, I'm using a rose gold here. And uh, I'm going to use a silver 260 gold. Uh, well, ideally you want, but I'm using a silver 260 here. So, with the silver 260, I'm going to cut the tip about one inch of the tip. Okay, just this much. Okay. Now, save this. We need this. Okay. So with this set, with with this time being, we only inflate the tip for about half an inch to an inch. So this much, and then we tie it close to the knot here. Tie we tie it to the bubble here. Okay. Now you are about feet that's because we want to make the knot really big. We are going to use it. We are going to use this knot up like for late next. Okay. So we want to tie it like three times. Okay, now, and as you can see, I have the knot here, and I have this extra here. I still want to cut it because if this, this mechanic will show if I don't cut it clean. So you will have a bubble with a big knot here. Now, grab the seven inch, Inflate it, it doesn't matter, just inflate it. Now we want to inflate it to stretch it. And then we let the air go. So we just want to stretch it. Now we want to turn it inside out. Okay, you turn it inside out. And we're going to put this, this is going to be the, her nose. Okay, we're going to put the nose inside. Okay, now if you look at her nose, it's actually a piece, this piece attached onto a seven inch. So again, I have a sample here. So that is her nose here. So this is the nose. It's actually attached onto the seven inch on the inside of the seven inch. So you can pull separate them and you don't see any any mechanic here because it's inside all right it's really easy to do now you don't have to do it this way I can show you the other way which a simple marriage twist okay or a tulip twist but I found this way it worth the extra effort if you want um, your client to like if you want your sculpture looks super clean super nice we'll show you why Okay, so this way, now I'm going to put this inside. So you can see it is inside. Now I'm going to inflate the seven inch. Again, I don't need to inflate a lot, just this much and don't tie it don't tie it okay now we want to mark the spot where we want to tie the nose on because well this is the out this is actually the inside of your seven inch okay so we're going to tie so we're going to tie the nose here and then we flip it over okay so that's how we tie the balloons how to tie the nose from the inside okay now if you look at the latex mark on, there's a, it might not show too really clear, but if you look carefully, like when you blow up a scrum, you will see there's a mark, the, the latex mark here. Use a sharpie, just not on the mark, but next to it. So we want, we don't want the nose to be like exactly slightly upward. So we want to mark this. Okay, with a sharpie. All right, and then we let the air go. 
Now, you can feel the nose and you can feel because we make a big knot. So you can feel the knot. We want to position the knot to where the X is, okay? Now, we are going to tie, we are going to tie this knot like we are tying a raisin, okay? We are going to tie this knot right on the X mark. Now, traditionally we can, so that's why we use the uh, leftover from the nose. That's what we use. Now, traditionally we can do a web around and then tie, okay? But I find that sometimes we, well, first of all, it's not easy to do both with, like, while you're holding the balloons. Secondly, sometimes uh, it gets loose because uh, later on we are going to um, pull the pull the 260, like the one that we we used to 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 tie the nose. We pull it out. We pull it back, so the nose will get a little bit of like squeeze. Okay, not so it's not like all bumping out. So it just a little bit. Uh, squeeze that okay so the way I do it um, is now for all decorated if you know how we have the deco bubbles you use a 260 okay so I use a 260 I make a loop okay I make a loop now those who know how to tie a deco bubble you do in the what I'm what I'm what I'm about to do. So I I use my two fingers, go around, and now and join to okay, bring them together. Now I'm creating a loop here. Okay, I don't know how this not what is not called. If you know, put it on the uh, put it on the comments here. Uh, I don't know what's what's the name now. The, so this is the way uh, decorator tie their decor bubbles. So I'm holding on this part and using my sorry, I'm holding on this part with my pinky and my uh, ring finger, and I use my thumb and my index finger to hold the loop. So here I'm grabbing, I grab the knot here, I grab the knot here, and then I just simply pull. I don't have to tie, I don't have to twist anything. So now it's all secured. Lex knot, okay, great, thanks. Sorry, my phone is too is too small, but yes, but that's the way. How, now, the good thing about this knot is the more you pull it, the tighter the knot will be. So it will it's really really difficult to get loose. Okay, now so we have this, we have the nose tied onto the round. I'm going to flip it over inside out. Now you have the nose tied onto the seven inch from the inside. So you can see. All right. Now hold on to this to um, two sixty because we don't we don't we don't want we are while we're in we are inflating the seven inch round. We don't want the seven inch round to go too big. Okay, we want to have it pull back a little bit, so it gives us a little bit of a squeezed shape. So we hold on to it. Again, this one is going to be three pumps. One, two, three, four. Actually, four. Four is good, so I do four. So now it looks like more like an, an apple shape. Okay, and. I'm going to tie this with my 260. Just a regular way to tie it. So now we got my nose and the muscle. Okay. Now again, this is the way 
it will look if you do it with the uh, same color. Now again, I mentioned that, that you, you don't need to do it this way because most of Twister, uh, or if, if you want to do a safe time, you can do a 260 and then you do a tulip twist and then you grab hold on the other side and tie it. So now this is a nose use the tulip twist or the uh, the push in or the marriage twist or whatever you want to 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 name it. It works, it it looks good too. However if you compare both shape okay now the the one with the tulip twist is a bit fat okay but if you look at the actual character their nose is a bit more sticking out so um and it looks cute it looks a bit more cute uh like without a flat nose so i guess you understand what i'm saying okay so that is the difference so again if you want to say time yes a tulip twist works perfectly fine it just uh i just like the way this one looked all right so we have the nose and the muscle and we have the face now before we attach the nose we need to do one more thing okay grab a uh, 260 okay a two a 260 chrome and i'm going to inflate it to about we got about four finger yeah, okay. All right. So this 260 is going to be now. Again, I'm looking by looking. Look at the back of my mini. So the 260 is going to be this part here. Now this is going to be the main structure holding the ears. Also, it's going to be um, a back support right in the center and it's also served as the lower lips right here the lower lips okay so with the 260 we start off with a about a two inch loop twist so it's not really a pin twist it's more like a loop twist but it's a big like it's a tiny loop twist all right now the loop twist is going to be the back support right in the center right here. This is this is what the, this loop twist is. So I'm again we are, I'm going to tie this all into the this connection point here. This is going to be the main connection point of the head. So I'm going to twist this in. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to it. Now I'm going to make a big loop twist of roughly about six inch, about six inch uh, length. This is going to serve as the lower lip. So you will have this big loop twist and this uh, tiny loop here, okay? Now just for your information, with this head structure, you don't, instead of making a mini mouse, you also got, uh, you can also make a bird face. Cute, right? Okay, so there are so many so you don't, you're not necessary to use this only for mini mouse because uh, this technique it can be done with. You can create, you can create a lot of different design with this technique. All right, so I'm going to put this right here. Now I'm going to use this 260 to create the side of the face, which is this part here. 
all right so normally I want this to uh, to go around and attach to the top connecting point like to the bubble right here but we but be before we do that we need to add an a second attachment point or another attachment point which is for the years so it's going to be roughly around this much okay I hope you can see it so I will do a twist here and we are going to make a one inch pinch twist all right just like that and then and one and a half bubble and so we can attach this onto the top okay we can attach this onto the top right here now we are going to duplicate the same thing here we're going to do to, to, to duplicate this on this side okay so a one and a half inch bubble okay a one inch or a one inch pinch twist and then we are going to go back around this side and back to the connection point here so from here back to here all right so we are going to create this right here. so you will see it now this is going to be the extra we can cut it off So just to look back, just to go to go to go back and check it. Now we have a small loop at the back of your head. This is a bigger loop at the front. Okay. And then the side on both sides. Okay. With a pinch twist on the side of our center connection point. Okay. Now we are ready to get attach our uh, morsel here. So this is going. So we are going to use. We are going to use this to attach the morsel again, right to the center, right here. So grab hold of uh, this entire chunk, and now we pull it. We, we use this we use this neck of the 260 to pull it all the way and tie it all the way to the center okay and we can cut all the and then we can cut the extra of this two this 250 like once you wrap it around a few times So that's how it looks. Okay. Now we just have to move around every balloon. Now for the lower lips, I, I'm going to slightly bend it so it kind of curve in, and we move the head. So this is basic, like you will see the basic head structure come out. Okay. All right. Now we are going to finish it. We're going to finish the details of the head. Now we need 
to cover up all this uh, mechanic here. So we're going to add an R the two sixty just to go around right here. So this is the one. This is the one to go around the eyes. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, again for demonstration purpose. I'm going to use a different color. Okay. Now blow up a 260, uh, a 260 and leave about four fingers length. We don't need the entire balloon, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Awesome. So, we, again, on the nozzle here, we attach it right to the middle, right to the center where everything connected. Okay, and then this one we just have to go around. We just have to go around and make a big loop around the eyes. All right. Okay, now we can cut the rest off. Okay, you want to save it, we, we may need it for uh, something else, okay? And tie it. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, now, this 260, it might you might you might you might have it slipping off sometimes like that let's try just push it back now we are going to stable this part using the bowl okay So I'm using another chrome 260 here, we just need halfway, okay, so it's going to be a simple bowl, it's going to be a one inch pin strip. okay, a loop, about a three inch loop, right, a loop that's about three inch length, okay? And same here. Another loop. So we just make a simple bow, okay? Now I like to open the uh, loop up so it's got a bit of uh, shapes here. Now again, we cut it, we cut the rest, but we want to leave the extra. Now, but make sure you still have good amount of uh, snack here, okay? Because we're going to push this snack, push this tail through here and tie it onto the connection point right here. So, push it. Push it and tie it onto the So now you have the bowl. Right. All right. Okay. Now my lower lips is a bit too long, but you can adjust it later, like uh, when you when you create it. Okay. Now, use one, grab one of the uh, extra piece. Now we're going to do the eyeballs here. Okay, I like, because we want to make a solid 
home colors. So the eyeball is a little touch. Like I, instead of using a sharpie, use a match color eyeball. Just makes it looks like more like a more like a statues. Okay. So we just need a tiny bit. We just need a little bit from the snack, like from the extra balloons or from the scrap. Okay. Tie it. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to tie this two end together so it makes a just a pinch bubble right here. Okay. Now I'm going to split this by using the extra piece or the egg the excess I think I'm, I'm going to wrap it around this bubble like a few times so now I split this bubble into two tiny print trees all right now I'm going to use this extra tail here squeeze it and through in, in between the eyes, the eyes right here, okay, and tie it again all the way back to the to the uh, to the cent to the main cent center connection point. So, so with this, I'm going to push this tail through. Now I'm grabbing. I'm trying to grab it on the from, from the back. I'm trying to grab the tail. So I'm pushing it through. So you can. So I'm. So I'm wrapping it on the uh, on the other side. Now I'm going to wrap this tail back to the center, and I can cut it off. Now I have a mini's head right here. All right. Okay. And the last, very last part is the ears. So I need two seven inch one. Now this time, two pumps. One, two. Now we want to squeeze all the air to make this seven inch like looks like really round and we tie it really close to the bubble. Okay, this one, we want to tie it really close to the bubble. Same with the other. Oh, this is stuck. This one now. Uh, all right, so two, one, two. So two of them. We are going, so we are going to tie it onto the two pinch trees on the side. All right. And we are going to move the pinches behind the one. Okay, we want to hide the nozzle as well. So we want to have the one and the pinches behind the one right here. So at the front, it looks like the ears. And we do the same with the other one. Again, so we do the same here. So the pinchers, the pinchers is at the back of the year, so it supports the year to push the year to the front. All right. Okay, so we got the head. All right. 
So I'm going to put this aside. Now, that's the head. I'm going to do the body and the dress, okay? Now I'm going to start with the dress first because this is very easy to do. That's the easiest thing to, to do. Now with the dress, I'm going to use six, seven inch, okay? Six, seven inch. Now we are going to make three pair of balloons. So each one is three pumps. One, two, three. Now don't tie it. Hold on to it. Don't tie it. Another one. One, two, three. Okay, now we tie a pair. So if you're a decorator, there should not be any difficulty for you. Now we tie it. Again, we tie it really close to the nozzle. Okay, so we got a lot of extra on, on, on the net. And then we squeeze it. Okay, so this one pair. We need two more. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tie it. Squeeze. Second pair. So we need six of them, three pairs. Again, I like uh, I like teaching using uh, the one because I can tell people how to count on the pumps. It's easy. So we are trying to make we have three pairs now. So we are going to make a six balloon cluster, okay? So we are just going to twist all of them, all six of them, together. Now you have a six petal flower with seven inch round balloons, all right? Now we want to make it like a dress shape. So instead of having, it, having them fret, we actually want to make it look looks like a doom or like an umbrella. The way I do it is by adding, by attaching a 260. So grab a 260 from. Now inflate it until you have like a good length of a tail. I would say a bit more because we are going to make a bubble, a lot of bubbles, so I will say a little bit longer than my four fingers. I, I have a smaller hand. Right. Now start with a pinch twist. Now if you're not familiar with twisting, this is, this is pretty much only the most difficult part for you, okay? So we got a, we got pinches. We got a lot of pinches. So grab one of the bubbles. We are going to make a tiny bubble about a one inch wide at the tip of each one. So okay. So and then we use this pinches to lock this in place. Okay, now we make a four inch bubble, a three to four inch bubble, and we create another Pinterest right here. Okay, now the Pinterest is used, we, we're going to repeat the same thing for, for the rest of the seven inch one. The Pinterest is going to use the whole, this bubble in, in place. So grab the one next to it. Make a one inch bubble right here. So, we've got two balloons con connected right here. Repeat it with the rest. So, four inch bubble. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's okay. If it got loose, you just put it back. So we keep doing it. By the way, this uh, sculpture here, um, unfortunately, I did not win any frame, but um, I'm, I'm real happy with it. So. Well, there's a lot of uh, good pieces in the competition anyway, so. So, again, sometimes I like to just compete and uh, so I can create something new. Just make me feel happy. All right, so one last one. So now that's how you uh, create a dress using uh, the rumblings. So if you have any sculpture you need and you need to make a dress quick, this is how you can do it. And it looks awesome. So now this is how it looks. It can be a flower if you put it upside down, or if you stick a 260 in the middle, it can be an umbrella. So it's up to you. But in this case, I'm going to use as a dress, okay? This is going to be the dress. Now, we are going to make the body, and the body is an other 7 inch. Again, 3 pounds. 1, 2, 3. Now, we don't need to tie it too close, but we still want to uh, have enough neck. Now we don't tie it too close there because we are going to use we are going we're going to need this part too. Okay, so tie just regularly with some extra piece right here. Okay, this balloon is heavily under in face, so you can play a, you can do a lot of things with it. So we are going to squeeze it. So now you got a pear shape. Okay, again we are going to make. A bubble, a bigger one at the tip. Now we are going to push this bubble inside the dress onto the other side. Okay, so we are going to slide this between the gap and then we slide everything back to the center to the center. So this balloon here is going to be right at the center of all the of, of the of the dress. Okay? Now if you look at the inside you will see the uh, the bottom part of the balloons right here. Okay? So this serves as the body of mini. Great. Okay so far? Well, I couldn't see, but I assume that you're okay because uh, no one stopped me. Now we are going to use another piece of 260. We are going to make the arms, okay? And the arms also attach with the collars, okay? So this is going to be an attachment it serves as an attachment and also the structure piece right here. So we inflate this. Again, we don't need a lot of them, so we inflate it with a lot of tails. We only need about this much. Okay, I'm going to just do a simple line. We cut the nozzle off. 
I'm going to just make a simple three bubble hand. So it's one bubble, two bubbles, three bubbles, three bubbles, and then we tie it. It's like we are trying to make a balloon dog right here, the head of the balloon dog. So this is going to look like the thumb and the hands. Okay, if you want to be sure, you can push this bubble through this two bubble to lock it. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to do it at this point, but you can. Now, leave about six inch. That will be the arm of mini, and we're going to make two pinch twists. Two one inch pinch twists. So one pinch twist. It's going to be a double pinch twist. Two pinch twists. This is going to serve as the collar of uh, her neck, and also uh, used to attach the arms. Okay, and we're going to match the other side of her hands. So one bubble, two bubble, and twist, and I'm going to cut the extra off. Now, if you find anything is too difficult, uh, if you have any questions and I don't have time to answer you, um, feel free to message me. You can find me on uh, Facebook. Um, now this one I'm going to push it. I'm going to push this bubble in through the loop. So this so this way they won't come loose. So feel free to contact uh, to message me on Facebook, uh, Derek Wong. Um, I might not add you as my friend because um, I have a rule on Facebook for myself. Uh, but you can still send me a message and I'm happy to answer to you. I um, but if you if you come to me, if you see me in any convention. Um, feel free to come over and say, hey, I want to add you as my friend, then I'm happy to do so. I just, most of the time, I just don't answer to uh, friends' re requests to people that I haven't meet, met in, per in person. It's just a rule for myself and for my wife, too. So, but I'm, I, but I'm again, feel free to uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Self-promotion. Okay, back here. So, this is going to be the body of Mini. This is the, the dress. Now, I'm going to create a body. I'm going to make a bubble here. So you squeeze a little bit. And we are going to make a bubble about this much here. Now, this bubble is going to serve as her neck, okay? She doesn't have a normal neck in my case. And we are going to squeeze this into in between these two bubbles. So it holds it in place. Now, one last part is, grab one of these scrap. We're going to make to finish it with her bell. So, just inflate it and leave a little bit of a we, we want it really soft. Okay, this should be enough. Try it. Now I'm going to make a Pinterest here. By the way, my uh, first convention is uh, WBC 2014. That's my first balloon convention. It's intimidating. It's crazy. But if you have a chance to go to the next one, 2011 or after that, I haven't missed and one. I haven't missed one. So I went to three different balloon, world balloon convention, press Trish and Show, and I went to float here. So, but WB, WBC, if you haven't been there, you need to be there. 
Okay, sorry, I talked too much again. So, we are going to wrap around, wrap this around in between the, the body and the dress. So, wrap around. So, we want to make it really smooth, snug. So, we tie, we have a pin twist here. We just tie this two pieces together. Okay. So now we got a barrel. Again, it serves two purposes. It serves as a barrel and it also makes the body more stable. Okay. So I'm going to finish it with another Pinterest. And I'm going to cut this, cut the rest. So that finished the dress and the body. Now we're going to use this to attach to her head, which is right this. Now we're going to use this and we are going to attach this part in between the big loop, which is the, um, the lower lip and the small loop. So right here you see the uh, yeah, I think this looks good. Yeah, right in between this gap. So this, this nozzle here, going to attach right here. All right. So we want to hold. And here you have a mini. Now it looks a little bit odd with all different color, but it should, I want to do it so it shows you all different um, part of the balloon. Okay, so it's this part right here. And this, so you can see the bottom again. Now, if you want to, uh, again, the best way to do it is to make everything into one single color, right? So it looks much better. Now, in order, like if you if you you don't have enough single color, so you just make the mini mouse, or uh, you just make the sculpture with what you have and then you just replace it with one that is the same color yeah so it, i call it the color change now um so so this one i pre-make it with copper color copper chrome uh copper chrome and this is because I recently just got some coppers uh, seven inch round, and this is the Congo gold. So I think the copper even looks better. So, but all right. So this is the mini mouse right here. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to put it right here for now. Right here. So again, if you have any question, uh, I hope we have time. We got uh, about 20 minutes, so um, I try to answer as much as I could uh, at the end of this section. I still want. I still have one more piece to show you, which is the base. Okay. Now this base is uh, you can use this base for anything, uh, for any sculpture to make it looks better, looks much better. Okay. And uh, the idea of this base is coming from now the very popular organic design. So again, I try um, is inspired by the decor side of the balloons. Okay, 
but I replace it with flowers. Okay. So um, to do this base, the base itself is um, the main structure of this base is a 16 inch geo bosom. Okay, it's a 16 inch geo bosom. Okay, so I find that most of the people will use an egg balloon cluster or the cluster or the one balloon cluster, but since I got so many geo bosom here, and I use I usually to use geo for my sculpture um, as the as the as as the as the base. I modify it so I can attach all this flower onto it. Okay, you don't need a flower if you are if if you find making flowers spend like it takes too much time, you can back use use like five inch round balloons or or seven inch round to make an organic base using the same techniques. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make, now you can use pretty much any color. I'm going to put this down first. I'm going to use. You can use pretty much any color of um, the 16 inch, but the one I like the most is um, the clear, okay? So I increase Okay, so I inflate the 16 inch drill. Now the reason I want to use a clear is, like if you look at this this base here, it doesn't matter like if you have experience doing organic, it doesn't matter how many balloons you put on, you always see, you can always see gaps, um, you, despite your client might not see it, but as a balloon, person or professional you will still see oh there's a gap here I want to put more balloons but as organic go the more balloon you put in they start pushing off and start lo lo losing shape but with using a clear uh, donut here or sorry not donut balsam here um, even we see gaps because it's clear it's like it, 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 it gets through so you don't People don't really pay attention, or or it 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 doesn't catch too much at attention there. The other option is black, okay, and onyx black, okay. So clear or black, like those will not show as as badly, okay. So with a geo, I'm going to need five pieces of. Uh, 260 any color I'm using black here okay five pieces so what I'm going to do I'm going to create attachment point to attach those flowers there so I'm going to grab so basically like each for each for like for each um, I don't know how this is called but in between those two loops you have this uh, bum here, okay, or not bum, you have this not bum here. It's perfect, you can, it's perfect for you to wrap a 260 right here. Okay, you can tie a 260 right here and it stays. All right, so we do it on all the value. I, don't, I, I, I know how we call this part of your geo. Now, so far, I haven't seen anyone done it, so I might be the first one. If not, then too bad. It's my idea now. <laughs> Since I show it first. All right. Yeah, in then or seems, I think. That's how we call it. Okay. I need one more. 
so. So I tie five pieces of 260 here. Now you can cut the extra off or you can simply move them to the center hole so it's hidden. Or you can just cut them and move them at the in like to the center hole so it's more hidden. So now, flowers. Now I'm not going to show you how to make the flowers. Uh, there's tons of YouTube video you can do to teach you how to show flowers. But the way I do it is you make a flower. It's a six petal flower, just normal flower. I don't want to make it too big. Okay, it's about the same size of my palm. Okay, so I find this is a perfect size. Well. You can change it if you want to. You can do it more organic. You have a certain style of flower you want. Feel free to make it. So, I basically attach two flowers using a 260 here. In between. In, 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 in. Now, if you have done organic decor, um, that's basically the same idea how you attach the uh, the two round balloons or the pair of round, round balloons and attach onto the base or the structure okay so this is the same idea okay so i'm going to grab my flower i'm going to push i'm going to hold out one of the arc uh the 260 and then i'm i just put it put the flower onto the right here that's how i attach my flower okay now this takes about 30 flowers or 15 pairs roughly okay so that's a lot of flowers so from my experience each one like each 260 Depends on what you want to put on the top, okay? I should I should be able to put at least two to three um, pair of flowers onto each 260. Okay. All right, so I'll just keep attaching the flowers. of flowers on each uh, on each 260 okay now you will still see some gaps in be in in between so that's how that's now I'm going to put another pair so I'm going to add more I'm just going to attach a pair onto one of the flower okay squeeze this in to cover the gap so now the trick here is you try to move the flower around so they are all stay they're all staying 
because just just like um, organic balloon, like organic decor, the more balloons you you put in, they will start pushing each other out. Okay, so the trick is try to hide the gaps while you don't want the balloons to push each other away. Okay, so you don't want to show more gaps. Okay, so I don't, I don't, I don't recommend to put too many pairs, just enough to cover that it doesn't show the gap too obvious. Okay. So you get the I you you get the idea. Now I can start adding more. Okay, I can start adding more flowers on. But I'm going to stop right here because uh, you get the idea. Like I all I all I have to do next is just to add more flowers. Now I want to show you um, just one just a few of the benefits why using the uh, geo is uh, is pretty cool as the base because now i got a geo so i can attach all this all this flower or or round balloons whatever pair you want okay but i still got a, a hole in the center and with that i can put a sand weight okay i can put a sand weight right here and then attach and then all I need is to tie a 260 to the uh, center right here and tie it to the same weight so it holds that's how I tie my mini knot it holds the mini knot so this is the same weight now if I pull it out is is attached it with a 260 okay but with the same wedge I can just put it there and it is heavy heavy enough so you can do it you can use it as a as a deliverable or a centerpiece now the other cool thing is you can make a bunch of this and when you you get a lot lot lamp or get one of those uh, clear plastic pro and because I don't have a big truck and uh, I don't have uh, big rooms to to build my sculpture or to build my centerpiece most of the, from the time, so you can build the base, and then when you're at the venue, you can slide it in and drop it onto the uh, on onto your not lamp or onto your pole right here. Okay. So um, I hope I show you enough. Like it's a bit rough on 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 this one, but you get the idea of how I create the flower base. Okay, again, it's not necessarily flowers. You can do all kind of. Uh, um, you can have fancy. You can put rows. You can put uh, round balloons if you want to save time. Okay, if you're more into uh, uh, organic de decor. So I think I will stop here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time to show you this uh, balloons bear here. Maybe next time, uh, if I get to uh, teach for Cortex and Bing Bing, uh, get them to ask me to teach. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I just quickly explain. This is a sculpture with um, all round balloons. I create this. The I create this. The design. Oh, I think I'm done. Yes. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Hello. Hi, Derek. That was awesome, buddy. I cannot hear you. Uh, One moment. Press there you go. The channels. Yeah. Can you hear us now? Yeah. Ah, uh, we soloed and call a one. No. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear me still. How can you now? hear us? Yes, I can hear you now. There Fantastic. Thank Fantastic. you very much. What we need to do is we... Uh, 
sorry, we should be putting a whole lot of love in the channel um, there for Derek. Yeah, he's awesome, isn't he? Yeah. And remember, Derek, what's it all about? Thank you. All about the pro. It's my pleasure to be a uh, to teach for you guys. <laughs> it's our pleasure to have you. Somebody said there in the in the message uh, in the chat that's the biggest gold nugget um, of a tutorial ever. Okay. Oh, thank so, you. Wow. There we go. And wow. you've also proved that Canada does indeed have internet, <laughs> and it was those two yes. girls that don't. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's not my. It's well. It's not here. Yeah. No conclusive proof as far as we're concerned yeah, yeah proof it's done <laughs> fantastic sir thank you very much derek thanks thank you derek. for joining us thank you very much for donating your time to all these wonderful watchers out there i will catch you later goodbye for now enjoy Goodbye, thank you. sir stay safe bye-bye yeah you too thank you